All right, so I'm still working out some of the craziness here, including a backdrop. Like, sorry about the mess behind me, but I've basically been living here for the entire year. Since March, they've locked me in. I've made all kinds of fun stuff. Don't worry, it's not a bad thing, but oh, it's a mess. All right, so I'm gonna now turn on, this is my other little camera. I'm trying to hide it. Let's see. So, see? So you'll be able to see what I'm working on is the plan, but it's kind of tippy. It kind of doesn't really want to work so hard today. Oh, all right. Well, I think it's on. <laughs> so let's get started. Okay, so basically, um, pencils, pens, crayons, anything you can get your hands on and get a few different ones. So I've got a Sharpie now. Remember, markers like Sharpies bleed through the paper. So don't sit down with one sheet of paper on your parents' nice dining room table or the fresh white countertop and mark in a Sharpie. I'm, I'm really not crazy about Sharpies, but I had it hanging around. Um, I have a couple of ink pens that I'm gonna try, a pencil, and of course my favorite big pen with the four colors. I love this pen. Um, other stuff like literally any pen that you can find. This one tells me to love more and worry less, which I like, I like that idea. All right, so here we go. Let's get drawing. First things first, open yourself a nice fresh sketchbook page. Um, maybe even one without something on the other side. Let's just turn the page on that because that looks like something I'm gonna have to work on. So what we're gonna do, hold your pen comfortably, sit comfortably. I think I'm a little high for this, there we go. Get nice and comfy, get yourself spread out here. Very, very simple. Draw little lines. This is your warm up. This is your warm up phase. Honestly, it's like, do I have any sportsters out there? Anyone that does sports, you know how you do your warm ups before you get started? Now I'm gonna switch. Oh, I think I'm gonna do green. Again, it's ballpoint pen, just a normal writing pen that I would take my notes with in class. Notes in class. And I'm just warming up my hands. Now, the way I hold my pen is kind of funny. You guys might have a nicer grip than I do. Everybody seems to. And last but not least, let's see. Oh, it's still working today. Good. Sometimes you have to fill these guys up with ink. This is actually a fountain pen. And it uh, you have to fill it up with ink. <clears throat> and then the ink flows out. It's kind of like the ones that we had in class. If you did ink drawing with me, um, I guess last year, in the last year or so, when we were in, in the art room, if you did ink drawing, we would have to go and dip our pen into the ink and then use it, and it would sort of get sketchy and run out. And this one has got a little part inside that actually holds the ink in it. All right, so there, I've done lots of little strikes now. Um, can I go the other way? Ooh, it's harder than it looks, actually. Now, I've been doing this for literally years, and so it make it look easy, but I also make a straight line. Believe me, when I started, I couldn't draw a straight line with a ruler, and now eh, it's pretty straight. All right, X, let's do a row of X's just to get going. My X's are actually gonna overlap a little bit. Now, why am I showing you how to do this? Is this boring? Yes. Maybe, maybe not. All right, X's. I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna grab my pencil, my nice blue pencil. Let's try a row of X's with a pencil and just sort of pay attention to how it feels different. I know it's sort of silly, but we're just, we're building up textures, we're practicing lines. And now look at how when we first started, how thin that line was, and then how as the pencil lead wore down a bit, can you see that? Yeah, you okay? Um, the line got thicker, and you got to see more of the texture of the actual paper. So that's kind of neat. All right, all right, all right, I'll do, actually, I don't wanna do the Sharpie, I wanna do these funny brush pens. These are sort of like if you've got like some markers hanging around. Oh, these are kind of cool. I'd forgotten how much I like these. What I couldn't find today, and I'm heartbroken, y'all know how much I love my colored pencils. I couldn't find my colored pencils today, so I guess I guess I gotta go digging in that mess. 
All right, so there we go. We've got some lines, we've got some X's. What else should we do? Here's a nice little pigment pen. Let's see if it works. They never work for me. That's why I, I switched to ones that I can refill. Yeah, that one's kind of scrunchy. But even, even like a nasty old scratchy half dried out pen is gonna give you something interesting. Right? So before we had all our fancy pens, we actually just drew with pieces of wood that we sort of whittled down into a little shape and dipped in ink. So I'm gonna th show you three drawings by Vincent van Gogh. And before he became such a fantastic painter, as you probably know, he did all of these drawings. He literally spent a couple of years of his life just drawing and he drew everything around him that he saw. So look, it's dots, it's lines. He just drew. And I mean, it's all of the exercises that we're concentrating on. And he would just go out into the village where he lived and he'd just sort of look around and see what people were up to. And he would use just pen and ink and make drawings like this. I love this one because if you see how the leg, how he's just using the, the straight lines down through the leg and how more straight lines in the background, the, the wheat sheaves, and how the person has got like, you know, they're, they're throwing the seed into the ground and you can see they're sowing the seed into the soil and the soil is all furrowed and he's, it's just literally lots of little lines just making up uh, the ground. All right. Oh, what else? Uh, oh, I'm going to use this one. So this is something, this is actually, this is a fountain pen that probably looks more like a fountain pen. This is probably what you're used to seeing me using in class. So let's do a few dots with this. Now the point is slightly different, as you can see, but it's pretty fine point. So if I'm picking up a pen, now this pen is also a different weight. So this is much lighter, this one, is much lighter than this. This is actually pretty heavy, which I like having a heavy pen. Oh, now I'm making a straight little fence. So that, has got a very specific name. It's called cross hatching. And it's got lots of fun things that you can do with it. Don't worry, we're gonna get there. This, where you're just making dot, 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 is called stipple. And it kind of reminds you of dimples. That's how I remember it, dimples, stipple. And stipple is just a whole bunch of dots. And if you put a whole bunch of dots in sort of one area, it looks darker and more defined and more like a shadow or the edge of something than if you just put a few dots outside. Don't rush your dots. I am so guilty of rushing dots and giving my dots little tails. They don't need tails, they just need to be dots. So there you go. So that's in my sketchbook. Now, if you've got plain paper, you can do the same thing. Except you've got lines. Can you actually see that? Oh, look, I'm even getting it on screen. This is the, this is the hard part for me, is trying to figure out how to get it so you can see it too. Okay, so... That's a warm up that's here. You know what? I am gonna just, this is my newspaper. I already read it. So I have my own permission to rip into it. I'm just literally gonna rip something like this. All right, so see, I've got this piece of newsprint. I'm just gonna put that down on my piece of paper on my sketchbook. And I'm gonna do my exercises on it. I'm gonna start with my ink pen, my fountain pen. And look at how different it feels. So this fountain pen mark, this fountain pen mark, this fountain pen mark. 
this paper seems to, can you still see am I in the frame? Not really. This paper, the ink seems to spread out a lot more. And this is a newsprint. It's not a very expensive paper. This is the one if we were going to do some charcoal drawings, you'd use newsprint because it just, it's, it's a thin paper. It's cheap. It turns yellow over time. But, you know, it, you can get kind of cool things with it. Like it does different things. Every different paper that you get to does different things. You can really see here. Let's see. Can you see that? See how it, the ink dot spreads out? I haven't even moved it. See how the ink spreads out like that? Hopefully it's focused on that. That's what's really cool about this paper is that it's it's very open. This brown paper, depending, um, it can be, this one's kind of almost shiny. And it even looks to be shinier on one side than the other. All right, well, let's try this out. Let's see what this does. So again, because you know how to make your marks, right? Just practice your marks. Do your warm-ups. Oh, look. Okay. Uh, can you guys see this? So what's happening with this one is that it's still, it stays very wet. So the newsprint, as soon as I made a mark on it, it stayed wet for a minute, but then it was dry. This one, I see, I did a whole other demonstration. I can still, that paper is not absorbing the ink, which, if you don't mind getting your fingers a little messy, you can play with it. Oh, I didn't say you had to do these perfectly, did I? No, you have to have fun doing these. All right, let's do a few more dots. So this is just a good way. So in just in doing your opening exercises, just getting your warm up ready, you can try all kinds of different kinds of paper. You know what, let's just try this plain printer paper. Let's just see what this does in comparison to like a really a, a good thick sketchbook paper, which is what this is. This is just sort of your thin everyday taking note paper. This is some brown paper that was in a package. This is some newsprint and then this is some printer paper. And this is the sort of paper that I think we usually had in class. I had a lot of it. So it absorbs the ink pretty well. So it doesn't, so if I keep my pen there for a while, it doesn't spread out like it did here. See how it just sort of makes a bigger, it just dots. And if on one particular day you feel like drawing squares instead of circles, do it. Or a triangle or two and another square. Just practice shapes. And if you only ever do this for 15 minutes a day, you're still going to get better. You're still going to be able to draw better and faster and more the way you want to draw what you want to see on your paper. Okay, so now I have all of these various little pieces of stuff. Oh, what was that? <gasps> Ooh, I think I'm very glad that I had something under my computer paper. You see that? I was like, hey, how'd these crazy marks get on here? It bled right through. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's do it with Sharpie. I bet it'll go right through again. The other thing I don't like about Sharpies is that they're stinky. Right. Boop. Yeah, see the same thing. So that would actually be on your countertop and that would be bad. Although there are tricks and tips to getting it off on some, not on all. Don't make those guarantees. All right, so we have all of these little pieces of paper. What I might actually do is get my scissors and 
cut it out, I can recycle that stuff and add it to my sketchbook. All right, so I'm just going to cut all of this stuff um, and maybe I'll figure out a way to do it fast forward. As straight as it's going to get. <laughs> And again, with glue, I always err on the side of caution and do it over a surface that you don't mind getting a little dirty. Yes, yay! Sometimes it doesn't fit, that's okay. Notes in class, I love it. And I just use a tiny bit of white glue. I like these little glue bottles. Again, I think I got those at the dollar store and I refill them with um, really good glue that I get at the hardware store in a big giant jug. So there you go. There's a good page in a sketchbook. And honestly, um, if you spend 15 minutes a day just noodling around, just doodling and noodling, it's gonna make a difference. Even if you only end up with something that looks like this, down the road, it's gonna look great. So here we are, if you go out into the world, and I was in a gallery in Kingston, Ontario, and I saw the work of John Murphy, and he did this fantastic wood block. So he took a, a special little knife or carving tools and carved in his little lines. So rather than a pen or a pencil, he used a carving tool and carve this picture into a piece of wood. And then you roll ink on top of it and you print it. You turn it over and you print it on paper. And it's literally just all of the little lines that we were talking about and practicing. And this is what he did with it. Uh, the, th the actual piece of art's name is called Sleep and it's from 1921. Now I wanna give you a close up look at that dog in the arm and you can see how he's just used the lines. So in the upper left, you can see how the arm is just a series of little dots and little lines that he's made. And just the way that he's angling those lines coming down into the dog's face is what actually defines the face. It's pretty incredible, so keep practicing. So that's it for our very first art snack, the warm-up. As you can see, artists use the various techniques that we just looked at today in many different kinds of ways. Whether they're drawing on newspaper, whether they're carving into a wood block, they're still using the fundamentals of making a line, making a dot, making a circle, square, triangle, and now we're going to clean up. So I do keep a little box beside my my desk and I just put all of my drawing stuff in it, especially in this moment in time when we're all probably sharing space and on top of each other. If you have your own little box of stuff that you can just sort of tuck together and put out of the way, then it's all going to be there the next time that we meet up for our next art snack. Hope everything's going well where you are and if nothing else, just please keep drawing. Time to water the plant. See you soon, art smarties. Take care.